Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here, and today we'll be talking about how to make SLA working on Yaystar S Series Volve PBX with an FXO and a SIP trunk. First of all, let's figure out what exactly SLA is. SLA Shared Line Appearance is a feature that allows sharing a trunk among a bunch of stations, which would be our IP phones. With SLA, all IP phones could share the same line to monitor the trunk status by BLF button color blinking. Say we want to make an outbound call through the shared trunk. We can check the BLF key to see whether the trunk is available or not. If there is an in-process call, we could press the BLF key to barge in if configured. And when a call comes in through the shared line, the BLF key of all stations will also turn red and blink to remind us. In this example, once the incoming call has been answered, the red button will stop blinking. If there's a phone on hold in this line, the flashlight on all stations will also blink in red. We just press that button to pick up the on hold call. Well, here we need to notice that the prompting sign of flashlights might be different from phone to phone according to the manufacturer preset and user customization. So, what displayed here is just one example. Okay, enough talk. Let's get to the system, see if we can make it. Here's the deal. Imagine there's a company. We will need a PS2 line shared by the boss and the secretary, whose extension numbers are 1000 and 2000, respectively. For step one, Let's get to the trunk. Enable SLA and select SLA features which we are going to activate. By the way, this particular trunk will not be available for inbound and outbound routes using anymore. When an external car reaches through the line, both of these two extensions will get the phone ring. Any of them could answer the call. And if we check the allow barge, when one extension is occupied having an external call, the other extension could join that call by simply pressing the BLF key. Well, in hold access, we could define extensions how to deal with the call on hold. Check open. Whenever a call is on hold through this trunk, the call could be resumed by pressing the BLF key on the other idle station rather than private. However, in private mode, the unhold call would be retrieved only by that specific extension which held that call. Except for that, we could also select a failover destination so that we could transfer calls to somewhere else if they haven't been handled directly. Now, for step 2, we're about to create these two SLA stations on extensions. One for the boss, the other for the sectoring. We could get the SLA right here in call control. Set the station for the bus. Name it as Euro. Select the extension and the FXO trunk we've configured. Then we can set ring timeout to define the system maximum ring duration. Here we have ring delay, which defines the time before the extension rings. Make sure the value we're going to set will not be longer than ring timeout. What's more, hold access can be also designed for the station. It specifically defines the station. Well, here we will need to clarify that the priority of hold access in the trunk is about this one. After that, add one more for sectory. One last thing we will need to do is to set the BL of keys on IP phones. First of all, we will definitely need to check the user manual with no doubt. Different phone requires different method of setup. Take an example. Now, we lock in the web GUI of the phone. Set the value of the BLF key to extension number, underline, trunk name. Just like this. For the bus, so we're going to enter 1000 underline FXO1-1. Assign the PST line to it. And uh, we will do the same job on the secretary. Take a while and uh, we will have them all. Normally, the BLF flashlight turns green. If the flashlight turns red, 
It indicates the line is occupied now. Okay, that was how we set SLA in our S series PBX. Hope this video could help you guys. Hit the like button if you like this episode. Subscribe our channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Get more A-star updates. And I will see you guys in the next video.